you, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, man, I think this is going to be a killer because I've had so many beers from this brewery that are killer. This is from the Tripping Animals Brewery. Now, they're located in Doral, Florida. Man, I'm telling you. And this is the March of the Widows. March of the Widows. Ooh, this is not for lightweight stuff. This checks in. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's a triple IPA. So, you know, by definition, triple is at least 10% alcohol by volume. Ooh, and what is this one? Well, let me read here. Let me see what it says here. Uh, I believe it says 10% alcohol by volume. <laughs> I'm going to have, oh, you know what? I wrote it down here. Bear with me. Yeah, 10% alcohol by volume. Yeah, because the light coming in here, I can't see. Yeah, I'm old. I can't see. I'm old. What do you want? <laughs> but this is a collaboration brew with the Widowmaker Brewery out of Florida as well. So let's go to open it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Remember, respect the can when you open it. All right, so we're going to use this interesting glass where I have here. It's a glass, and then it's a bottle within the glass. Now, this is double wall, and you know what? I should have sent it back a long time ago because it collects condensation for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I might order some more. Oh, man, that built up a lot of uh, foam rather quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I might order some more. Oh, it's a very beautiful. Now, because of that reflection, it's going to be hard to see. Let me get it up there. Oh, it's a very lovely orange color, and it's got some lively carbonation on there. I think you'd agree with it. Mmm. You get a little bit of tropical fruit, but it's not its not right up in my face normally like these beers are. Usually these kind of beers, uh, and I'm talking about uh, triple dry hop, or double dry hop, New England style, they usually have that tropical fruit that gives you a blast right in the face, and this one's not doing that. But it is a lovely, hazy, orange color, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and drink it, but before we do, we're going to thank the brewers, not only at Tripping Animals, but at the Widowmaker Brewer for collaborating on this beer. I want to thank all the brewers who pitched in on this beer and brought it to market. So guys like me can enjoy it. Thank you so much. And thank you to you at home for watching. You make this channel possible. Cheers. Oh, man. Now, I do like this. So you can tell if you watched enough of my beer reviews when I say, oh, I do like this. I really like it. Mm. Now, I'm not picking up any alcohol on this, which makes this extremely dangerous if you're driving out and about. Man, I tell you, mm, these days... I go out every once in a while to the mall, and I'll have a beer with my pizza. Nine times out of ten, I don't finish that bottle of beer. It's maybe I drink six to eight ounces of it. It's just not worth it. It's just not. It's not worth it. Don't do it, please. My God. Yeah, uh, if you do, yeah, call somebody. Man. There's no problem leaving your car in a parking lot for a while, and somebody can go get it later. Please, my God. Don't do it, man. The life you save may be your own. That's, and I'm not going to lecture anybody. Oh, man, the aroma on this is indescribable. It has some tropical fruit in here. I would say passion fruit and guava. That's what I'm going to say. Man, this is a super dry finish on it, but it is lovely. This is a pleasure. And remember, it's 10%. I've never had a beer from Tripping Animals that I didn't like. Now, it's been my fault a couple of times where I had the beer just a little too long. But that's not Tripping Animals' fault. It's my fault. 
Oh, man. I am going to savor this beer for about the next hour. It's a sipping beer. Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> Forget about it. No, in all seriousness, it's a sipping beer. This would be a good digestive. That is a beer after the meal. This will probably put you to sleep. If you have a steak, dinner, mashed potatoes, or baked, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to be asleep after you drink this beer because all that fat in that meal and then this 10 percenter works together, it's going to put you to sleep. Yeah, if you didn't know that, uh, the more fat that you eat, the more that you're going to sleep. Yeah. But again, this is from the Tripping Animals. Now, this is a collaboration with Tripping Animals and the Widowmaker Brewery. I've never had any beer from Widowmaker, but I'm going to get online and see where I can buy that. Man, this is killer. Ooh, let me pour that last little bit in there. Oh, man, this, this beer right here. I love it. Take a little more of that. Respect the beer, though. Don't drink this straight away. This kind of beer is for enjoyment. If you want to get uh, tipsy, there's plenty of other beers out there on the market you could do that with. You Don't do it with this one. <laughs> hey, my friends, life is short. Be happy. Try new things like this beer right here. You won't be sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you're not used to, hey, <coughs> if you're not used to drinking high alcohol beers, you may want to split this with one or two people, no doubt. That went round, down the wrong pipe there. Oh, man, is that good? That is good. All right, my friends, remember, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.